everyone welcome back to my channel today i am giving you my what's on my desk update for july i'm talking all about what's coming up with my country diary a new nature sketchbook class and world watercolor month all right so this is my what's on my desk update for july and i have my country diary pages here and i did already do an update for my June pages so if you would like to have a look at that and see all my June illustrations you can click the link in the video description below to check out that video. Now it's hard to see because I draw faintly so that it doesn't show through. This was something that I drew in May actually the yellow flag irises are out from May to early July um, so you can't really see it but anyway there is a enlarged bloom and then a smaller um, fuller view of the iris that I'll be showing you there. Then I also have my title page and you can see this one maybe a little bit better. This is the July title page and it is uh, some bush vetch, chicory, California poppy, daisy, um, everlasting pea and more chicory. So it's going to be really beautiful and this is inspired um, by some of the plants that are at the marsh but also just the plants that have been blooming on the roadside along the highway so I'll call it wildflowers of the wayside uh, but it's just a vibrant display this time of year it's so beautiful I have to make sure I focus on the road while I'm driving um, so that's what the title page for July is inspired by so I look forward to showing you more on my country diary in the July country diary update which will be out at the end of the month I haven't had as much time to paint in my country diary as I'd like just because it's been a very busy month with um, having my stepdaughter stay with us, getting Mr. Frodo Baggins rescued, all sorts of things. But anyway, without further ado, this is my next thing to show you and this is a um, homemade sketchbook that I made and I think I have a video on this on um, how to or the best uh, watercolor sketchbooks so you can use any paper you like this is Dalla Rowney simply watercolor paper and I actually did this three years ago August 3rd 2022 and then I filmed it and I never got to finish editing it so now that I have the watercolor garden my online school launch this is going to be sort of an ongoing class but I will be launching this month a uh, full lesson showing you how to put a page together like this, introducing you to um, ink and wash or line and wash technique, which is really easy for watercolor beginners. And then um, how to also do a page inspired by a visit somewhere. So this is a BC Park, Strathcona Park page that we did a day trip to. And so this is just watercolor with a little bit of ink, but a bit of a different style. So those are those two um, classes that will be coming out in the watercolor garden this month. And then I have some more pages I can fill up with other um, class or lessons, I should say. Um, so the idea with how to start a nature sketchbook um, is to be like an ongoing class that I build and add tip videos and other lessons to, much like the country diary, how I'm going to um, structure how to start a country diary class that I'll be launching later in the summer and you might think they're the same but they're a little bit different I approach things them differently so there'll be classes that have some initial lessons when they launch and then I'll be continuing to launch more tips and lessons and all sorts of videos to add to them which I'm really excited about and um, the current group of students also really look forward to that type of content as well so that is the how to start a nature sketchbook sneak peek and then the other thing I have on the go um, is World Watercolor Month. So if you have not seen my previous videos, I am an ambassador for World Watercolor Month um, through um, doodlewash.com, which is a really popular watercolor blog. And um, it is a fundraiser for children's art charity. So anyway, there's a prompt for each day of July I've been doing it a little differently, so I've been making a page for each week. So this is week one, um, and so pattern, rush, turn, they're all like a prompt word, and I'm challenging myself to make 
uh, nature or botanical themed illustration for each of these words, which may not initially seem like a nature themed um, prompt, but that's my challenge to myself. And then this is week two, which we just completed. Uh, and this is lined and washed, so something really quick and easy for me to uh, complete because uh, I do have a nine month old baby boy and stepdaughter and um, now a very wonderful new cat. Um, so things get busy. So this is week two and it's just very approachable way to do it. So I haven't actually started my week three illustrations. So the way I sort of post it right now is I post the prompts at the beginning of the week and my students and I brainstorm ways that we could create or things that we would create based on the prompt um, that are botanical or nature themed. Midweek, I post the first few and then at the end of the week I post my finished page. So that's how I've been sharing it. So my next thing is just to draw out and start with week three and that's very exciting. And if you want to see um, what the prompts are, you can visit the community page on my YouTube channel. I've got posts showing all the prompts and more of the pictures and everything. Um, so just head up on the home page of my YouTube channel, hit community and there'll be all the posts for that. And this is kind of cool. I've decided to start a watercolor sketchbook binder and you can hear Frodo Baggins in the background. <laughs> um, so what this is, is I've just been cutting paper to size based on this little piece of paper here that this half letter size binder comes with from Staples. So I just traced out the paper, traced out the holes, cut it with a paper cutter and punched the holes with a, just a hole punch, a single hole punch. And then also just with scrap pieces that I can use for color matching or samples or whatever. Um, because I can never really commit to one type of paper, which is why I'm steering away from buying pre-made sketchbooks. And um, I already started my country diary with that, that sort of spiral binding. So I've just been cutting my pages to match and then I'll spiral bind it all together at the end. But if I were to do it again, I'd probably just start this way. So you can have all sorts of different tabs if you want for different projects and themes, but this is just like a $10 binder, maybe even less. And then I've been using all the different papers that I'd like. And then I also have scrap pieces I haven't punched yet just in the front. And then I'll make a cover of some sort once I have a little bit more spare time. And then while I'm working on those pages, sometimes it's not very comfortable to have that binding, I just have this half size little clipboard. So if I'm taking this somewhere, or I'm not just sitting at my desk, I can just put the page on the clipboard and work on it that way, which is really cool. And again, just something inexpensive from Staples. And then I also just had this sketchbook I think I showed people um, a while ago. Again, I haven't had a lot of time to work in it. Um, that was my Country Diary practice title page. And then these are the sort of looser botanicals. And then I have a poppy page here. So I'm hoping to get back to more of this soon, but I am sort of focusing on getting my World Watercolor Month um, illustrations completed in a timely manner. So that is basically what I have on my desk this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. And last but not least, I wanted to introduce you to my little guy, Frodo Baggins. So a quick note about Mr. Frodo Baggins here. We just got him yesterday and he is a rescue kitty. He was um, a stray caught by the pound or animal control. And he has been in cat jail for three months with no offers of adoption. He's about one to two years old and a very nice boy. He's so cuddly and really good with my son Kai and so we decided to give him a home. I'd met him about a month ago when I went to drop off a missing cat poster for my cat that went missing Luna. Unfortunately we still haven't found her and I'm hoping we do and so we picked a boy cat that gets along with other cats just in case she does come back um, but we're very happy to have found him and given him a home as he had no other prospects at the moment so I'm super happy to announce Mr. Frodo Baggins is our new family member.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you in the next one. And if you are more interested in learning about botanical painting or learning how to paint flowers in the style that I do, then click the link below in the description. I have a free one hour class that shows you in real time how to paint a wild rose. <gasps> oh, Mr. Baggins.